peace, family. Uh, it's snowing. I uploaded a video showing that a little bit earlier today. I'm sure y'all can see through there. So it's still coming down pretty good. So I wanted to just take a minute to show you all what I have going on inside. Not a whole lot, but you know a few things. So this here is red potato. I love red potatoes, man. That I sprouted from uh, an actual store-bought potato. Um, you know, I saw this tip online, Lead Farmer 73, you know, once again. But, yeah, this is my potato plant. So, the little sprouts that have the roots growing onto them, I'll be transplanting them into pots like I did here with this one. Here's one as well. Um, that one I transplanted about a week or so, maybe two weeks after this one. So, but once they get to a certain point, I'll separate them. Also have um, rosemary here. I've got rosemary, a bigger one outside, but this is the one I keep inside. I just trim off her every now and again. This is a pomegranate that I grew from seed. I actually have two other ones in another container and a windowsill at my job. But that's the one that I have here. I'll probably sprout another one as well. Nothing in here right now. Um, but I'm going to put uh, moringa seeds in that one to get that sprouted. Here I got some leeks. Now the leeks, um, I've got about probably 10 of them outside that I planted that I sprouted the same way. Basically just chop off the tops that I use um, and then put the bottoms in water until they root and start growing. The green parts of the leeks I use for compost for like my pots and things like that, my raised beds. And then of course ate the, the white part, the onion part. And then here, I've got sugar cane. Sugar cane that I got from Grow Family Network. You know, shout out to them. And um, I had, I think it was two that they sent me that, uh, that I purchased from them. And I cut them in half because I cut them where the nodes were. I got one that sprouted. And really, that's all you need, man. You know, if you get one that sprouts and takes off, you know, you can have sugarcane for life. So, shout out to them for the sugarcane and shout out to them and Lead Farmer 73 again for sugarcane tips. So, once it gets warm outside and this grows more, it'll be transplanted outside. And I think I'll be good from there with that. But anyway, that's about it. Um, you know, I'll share more projects with you later on, but this is just a, you know, a little, uh, short video of what I have going on inside. All right, but for now, y'all stay warm, stay safe, and peace.